I don't look that different in real life, to be honest. He, he is this character. And funny enough, when we even started working on conceptual drawings for Zolar, uh, he looked like the character. <laughs> Last time on Zolar, these kids make friends with Zolar, but some aliens were trying to kill him. So to find out why, the gang go cross country to visit the real life motocross star, Mike Metzger, who has all the answers for some reason. Do their parents know that they're out here? Yes. <laughs> We haven't seen their parents at all. I think when you practice skateboarding uh, down by the docks, you don't have great parents. Do you think that popcorn's stale, or do they, like, make popcorn every once once an hour? He does not make popcorn once an hour, I'm going to tell you that. That guy does not do that. He made it because he knew his friends were coming over, and he wanted them to feel... <laughs> quite, 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 quite. Hey. Keep your eyes open, okay? I think Mike might be one of them. Mike, is it true you're an alien? An alien? That's a good one. An alien? <laughs> of course I'm an alien. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jump scare. What the <laughs> fuck? Scared, that scared the shit out of me when I first saw this. It scared the shit out of me just now. <laughs> Gnarly, huh? All right, look, it wasn't just some accident that you guys hooked up with Skip. You got the tech know-how, the fire, the desire. You, you're the secret weapon. Yeah, so apparently Destiny brought them together, and Whoa. it was Destiny, guys. This is literally just Captain Planet. Yeah, is yeah. she the heart or is she Mati? What is she? No, she don't matter. Mati. No one wants to be Monty. No, oh, I'm the Mati. Well, I mean, like if you think about it, Monty's the power is just Doctor Doolittle. Most of the world's top extreme athletes are from different planets. See, what you know as extreme sports, it's just a version of our rituals. He's got too much surus. Surus. Yeah. Follow me. How someone can get good at skateboarding? Uh, it's the Surus. It's the. It's like they're Metachlorians. Every skateboarder in this universe is all aliens, including Tony Hawk. Wait, do they say Tony Hawk by name? No, they couldn't say it, but oh. they're implying it. Oh, okay. I'm more concerned by the fact that you keep explaining this movie it, like enthusiastically. How much backstory do you know on this? Hang on, it's not all good news. See, there's this evil dude, Gideon. This motherfucker sounds like he's sleeping. <laughs> he attacks the Kernia, and then he blew up our planet. Who cares, man? He's still alive? It, it's just like the first Harry Potter movie. Oh my oh, god! Man. Sorry. <laughs> you can see where the fucking mask ends. Oh yeah. god. <laughs> this is a load of barnacles. I'm so fucking angry! Oh, my parents are fucking dying! Ah! How, two of the comments in this video are pan. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Larry King's back. Hey, what are you doing here? <gasps> Double locks. I should have been more polite. Here, have a seat. Shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he got away. <laughs> I gotta go, dude. Surprise! It's Jack Spicer. Wait, is that the Joker from Gotham? You're fucking mean, Jim. Sorry. <laughs> Stop apologizing, that was the joke. It's Power Man 5000. Oh! So it turns out there's like multiple bounties on uh, Zolar. If this isn't a part of a kid's coma, what's the point of kids having comas then? The, these actors had to try really hard to not knock down these uh, priceless artifacts. Are those Q-tips in his ear? This show is making me want to watch Cleopatra 2525. What? Have you not seen that? It's where a stripper goes to get a boob job and then wakes up in the future. And Cleopatra is about to discover it. There's no place like home. In the year 25, 25, there are women with the will to survive. 
Is this a porno? It was syndicated on TV. I remember it. What the fuck? Produced by Sam Raimi, of course. I, I may or may not have it on DVD. When before the Spider-Man movies, when Sam Raimi was just king of syndication. The next morning, we were back to our old ways. Zolar was hurting, and it was affecting all of us. He, he just nodded to the camera. Everyone's so sad, riding on their vehicles. Vehicles? <laughs> vehicles. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know what to call them. The first thought was instruments, and that didn't seem right. The original estimate budget for the script to this movie was around $60 million, but uh, they only made it happen with $1 million. Wait, this cost $1 million? I mean, it was a bunch of episodes, so I guess that's a fair amount, maybe. How much, how much of that money was for celebrity cameos? All of it. Everyone else just did this for free. Nolan, how much did Atop the Fourth Wall cost? 63000 I think Atop the Fourth Wall has them beat and is longer. Damn. <laughs> Isn't that like four and a half hours or something? No, it's two hours, but it also looks better than this. Or at least the camera quality is better. There they are. No, wait, they're... That's not them. It's like... It's like they took a screenshot from that and used it as the photo. <laughs> <laughs> They're right. Screenshot. Oh my god! <laughs> Isn't this something that happened in Masters of the Universe? The election. Oh, movie? I'm I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly yeah. It. This happened in Harry so, Potter. Don't you recognize us? One. I always seen the first Harry Dad? Potter. I know nothing of it. Can you guys explain to me why my mouth is yeah. like pink? Uh oh. Oh, he's quantum leaping. Wow, that is a bad mouth. Literally could have just like lifted the neck up a bit more. Hey, hey, they they spent seven hours in makeup doing that. Oh, they did not spend seven hours. They spent two minutes. Wait, so why do they want this kid so bad? He has all the whatever their medical rate equivalent is to become a powerful skateboarder. So they want to be skateboarders? I guess, or they just want to use his skateboard powers as a weapon. Wait, is he Kyle XY? I think don't, don't you mean Smallville? No. Is that what Kyle XY was? All I remember is he didn't have a belly button or something. I didn't watch Yeah. That. And people All I remember is everyone said it was a Smallville ripoff. No fear. This bump. Zolar, my email is bongrip42069 at yahoo.com. I personally have counted every time I've done a successful fist bump. How many times? None. <laughs> hey, Zolar, if you ever need somebody to do your hair for you, don't call me. I clearly don't know. You can see his, like, makeup, like, crinkle in his eyes. You can smell him. <laughs> he took a one last good whiff before he had to leave. <laughs> mm. I'm going to miss what you did to my butthole, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That, this is why I never smile in photos. Don't you find it a little strange that the day after Zola finds out about his parents, they show up? It happens. Maybe his son Motherfucker. Yeah, so remember, he's like the tech wizard. Like, Destiny brought them together, and, and he's the tech guy, all because he knows how to use a laptop. I mean, it was 2004, so... I, I'm not. I forget what the plot is. What they're doing? They, oh wait, they were told to go to like some mine or something to find like Zolar's secret stash. Are they gonna find like an old, uh, like a ghost that's really an old man who's trying to collect insurance money? It's gonna turn into Stand by Me, where they. Find... Oh, they're gonna find a dead Zolar. <laughs> oh no, another one. Is that uh, yeah, how there's that two ends? Zolars. Is this like the the pilot of Twin Peaks where they show how Laura Palmer died and we're gonna find out how Zolar died? I think it's already got it. Oh, my gosh. This is Six Flags. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah! Oh, he had a parachute for some reason. This kid had a parachute. Wait, I could accept that from the genius kid. That would have been a quirky little thing he did. Yeah, that would make sense. But they, Maybe we talked over the genius kid giving him the parachute. They could have climbed. There's a little ramp right there. How, how is that PDA working in the mine shaft? They're underground. Are they? Because that's white. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. I thought they were underground. Oh, look. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They didn't even do their locations right. Oh, shit. Is this look, Mortal Kombat? Watch this. This happens. This place lights up for no reason, and it's never brought up again. It's just there. My favorite uh, YouTube statistic about this video is despite having 4,000 views, it only has 60 likes. <laughs> oh, Area 52. The sequel Area 51. <laughs> It has no dislikes, though, so... <laughs> it's the perfect movie. <laughs> I mean, one of y'all can be the first to dislike it. No, I'm going to like it. I'm going to bring this up to 61. 62. Oh, yeah. 63, baby. 
Okay, 64 likes. <laughs> yes! What is, the, what is the N64? Oh, oh, we bought that's that's not appropriate for a kid's movie. Oh, cool. VR. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> yeah, so x-ray goggles in this universe work oh, on no. a, a, an image on a- Well, I mean, come on. Their technology also has photos from the future. So is this right? I mean, is this like some kind of passenger side airbag for space travel or something? You know, I once had one of those airbags go right off in my face. It was like, Shut the fuck up, kid. <laughs> I, isn't that just a photo filter? Shut up, Nolan. Stop ruining the magic. This is movie magic. I think we have different definitions of magic. Yes. Mother Zolar, may I have a word with you? You're gonna ruin everything. I did you sweet. All of Zolar's power will be transferred to you. Wait, I thought they were aliens. Why'd they turn into people? Look, you know, it's for the, the audience, you know? There's an audience for this? Yeah, 64 of us. Yeah. <laughs> You're included, Jim. Shut up. No, no, 4,102. Uh, I said, in, well, engaged audience. Oh, that's true. Okay, 64. Why do you get to be the dad? Why do I have to be the mother? It's not fair that you get to <sighs> even argue like parents. He, he's enjoying watching his parents fight. I wish I could do that when I was younger. <laughs> Instead, oh. I cried a lot in the bathroom while hearing them yell. Wait, do they think skateboarding goes faster than cars? Well, in a traffic jam, yeah. The producer was like, no, more skateboarding. Anytime there's not skateboarding. We're losing five kids. They're changing the channel. Put more skateboarding. I love how this movie always obscures the skateboarding. Like you never see it directly. It's always cut out from the frame or behind an object at all times. Whoa. It's an illusion. Whoa, it's really an Arby's. Oh, uh, we got a foot shot. Nice. Oh, you're gonna you're in for some feet this time. Wait, who produced this? Uh don't question it. Hey, wait a you second. Know. Wait a second. Look up in the corner. Is that is that Dan Schneider's name? <laughs> Uh-oh. Get ready. Here he comes. So this is how they're transferring all his uh, metachlorians to him. <laughs> oh, God. Those, those are the aliens' real this shit. This is a foot fetish scene. That there's like... <laughs> this is a straight-up foot fetish scene. <laughs> this makes yeah. sense. His feet are the window of the soul. He has the same amount of toes as a ninja turtle. I mean, I think... Dan Schneider's definitely seen this. Dan Schneider's seen it, and somebody who's worked with him probably also worked on this. Yeah, I emailed the writer again about this scene, and no, he doesn't know who added that in. Maybe the director. I don't know. Let's go to commercials and forget about this. Zolar comes from the planet Zorkania, comes down to Earth, and within him is the key to the universe. He's every bit of Frodo Baggins, Harry Potter, Neo from the Matrix, Luke Skywalker. He is our savior. So before we go back to the commentary, I emailed the writer of Zolar who dished some pretty interesting info. John Derevlany, who's written for the likes of Kick Patowski, Angry Beavers, Johnny Test, and Wayside. He confirms Zolar, this movie from 2004, had been in development hell for a while as I was able to find an official Zolar toy that dated to 1997. When he signed on to write the film, he knew it was a dumb idea, but he wanted the job since he surfs and snowboards. John pitched the story concept and felt it was a bad sign when it got greenlit so quickly, stating, almost 10 years in development and then greenlit in one week? Hmm. John was given a week or two to rush out the actual script with a limited budget. He estimated to do the script justice, it would take 60 to 70 million, like many Hollywood blockbusters, but they barely had under a million. It was originally written as a TV show, but cut together into a movie. He was only paid part of what he was owed, and is still owed money. So thanks to John for writing back. Oh, and as a lot of people pointed out in the comments for part one, this girl, actor Nikki Klein, was on Battlestar Galactica and married an actress from the show Smallville. Allison Mack, who's one of the leaders of the Nexium sex cult, known for human trafficking, racketeering, and branding women like cows. Yeah. So, let's get back into Zolar. 
So what do you think? Let's do it. Hanson. <laughs> That's how you get into the digital world. Wait, they're gonna be Digimons? If this is season one, they partner with Digimons. If this is season four, they are the Digimon. Ah, uh, Chelsea. Uh, uh, Nancy. That kid's not even restrained. Nah, he's enjoying it. That becomes a fetish scene. He's tied up. This is uncomfortable. Maybe Skip wasn't the real child rapist after all. Oh, there's his true form. I've been led under false pretenses. This is like a puffer fish. It's like pretty good effect though. He looks like my ball sack. Out of my way, little girl. There's nothing to look at here. Who you call little girl? Out of my way, poser. Oh. <laughs> poser. poser. She's she's so fucking epic. <laughs> He's just like fuck you, old man. <laughs> what? what? It's surprise the so the nunchucks funny. were actually two dolls tied together. <laughs> <laughs> This is some Spy Kids quality. <laughs> Nobody touches my little sister. <laughs> Fuck. This is more Shark, shark Boy and Lava Girl. Nobody touches my little sister except for me. Hex, longboard. He starts pulling down his pants. No, the other longboard. Girls, do the treadmill. What is oh, going on right now? <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my balls! Go. Oh no! That's oh. classic. What a odd contraption they've created. <laughs> this guy, that face, that like, what the fuck? Do Why am I doing walk. here? Look, it's perfect. That actor broke his neck and died <laughs> after filming this scene. Wait, really? <laughs> I don't know. I hope so. I mean, no, I don't hope so. That's terrible. What oh, the no. fuck is wrong with you? I didn't mean that. Yeah, it was I a think Freudian slip. I think you did mean it. Freudian slip, it, it don't I mean can, nothing. Can we need to have a conversation. Last time we were together, you mentioned the closest thing I did to murder someone. You just wish murder on another person. Why are you No. I can't even finish that story. I don't remember what was the closest I murdered someone with. Please don't finish it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking through the roof. That was amazing. I wish she hit the roof and then just fell back down. You know what? I'm taking the stairs. Future home of the hard man pavilion. Uh-oh. I love that Aqua Teen level effect. My name is... <laughs> Please have sex with me before I die. I have three dicks if that makes any difference to you. <laughs> One pity fuck is <laughs> all I ask. Give me the pity fucking go. Please! <laughs> Wait, so if you have three dicks, do you have sex with them three times? Or do you use all three? Or all three? No, they go in and then expand. Uh oh, or combine. Expand dong. Wait, they expand her or they expand. Yes. Point that phallic symbol at my face. Kid, that's a pizza cutter. <laughs> that That's not appropriate. That's not a pizza cutter at all. That's good. Because you'll need to learn quickly if you plan on stopping my friend Jammer before he destroys your little town. Wait, so what was the theme song to Zola? Zolar, Zolar, East. I'm blowing. <laughs> it's Emily's first single. I imagine it would just be Brave Star, but instead of Brave Star, it was Zolar. The Zolar, skateboarding free. He's not a freak. Blue on the outside, Zolar. We're going into the blue. So here they lazily reshoot the entire beginning. Oh God, we have to watch all of this, don't we? They're just having fun, skateboarding. And even in the context that we have now, it makes no sense. They're just skateboarding and having fun. Wait, wait. So why do they show the ending of the film first? This isn't Memento. Just to engage the audience with action. They could have had an action scene in the beginning that wasn't like chronologically incorrect. That would cost more to film. No, it wouldn't. This came out the same year as Spider-Man 2. What's your, yeah, <laughs> oh, what's your point? I'm just, these are just facts. You know what? This came out the same year that George W. Bush won the second election. Did it sway things? Perhaps. So yeah, this is like a hired goon that we've never seen before that's also an alien. So, I really think this was from something else and they repurposed it. Did you know in 2004, February 4th, Mark Zuckerberg created social media site facebook whoa. whoa he he was watching this and goes man 
My life is pathetic. I need to make face. Coincidentally, in the uh, related on the up next on YouTube, uh, I'm seeing <laughs> some video of Mark Zuckerberg, and it's just called "Smoke These Meats," and has two million views. Yeah, someone asked me, "Do I smoke meat?" Smoking meat, smoking these meats. I mean, knowing what Facebook is now, is this worse or better than Facebook? That's the real mm. question. But we have to analyze what cultural impact that each of the properties had. I mean, Zolar has been liked on YouTube 64 times and Facebook is Facebook. Why do people have to like be born and stuff? Considering this movie came out in 2004, which means it was filmed in 2003. Even if it was released on January 1st, I guarantee you they made it in 2004. Are you making the bold statement that they filmed this in a half a day? <laughs> this, film, this movie was filmed live before our eyes. You know what? That makes it a lot more impressive. They're like, it's midnight. Oh, this was released in May. This movie was released out into a forest. If, if, if no one <laughs> sees Zolar in a forest, did it really happen? If, Zo if Zolar wipes out epically in a forest, did he truly wipe out if no one was there to witness it? Oh, no. Here's that JPEG again. Well, he did honor his end of the bargain. <laughs> <laughs> a man died. <laughs> Take this, you alien freak! Man, she's still the best character. She's fucking epic. They're just like yelling doesn't make this more powerful. You know that. They gotta believe it's their it's their courage put together. Why did they put Will Smith's gun from Men in Black on a tripod? But your cryos can't penetrate my surface. What the fuck Wait, is he talking that, about? Was that a euphemism? He said he was gonna put that what in my oh, what? <laughs> I think he just said something inappropriate to that girl. But your cryos can't penetrate my cirrus. He's gonna penetrate her cirrus? Don't talk about that girl's cervix. This is gross. Uh oh. <laughs> no problem. I'll just get my blood right in that freako's face. Then we'll see who's big and bad. Wait, wait, Stop big and black and. <laughs> Zolar's had enough. Is he waving to his mom? Mom, look, I'm on TV. I'm in a shitty fucking movie and my career will go nowhere. You don't know that. You guys, we're not gonna make it! Hey, no fear, I got just a thing. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, inflate, you, inflate. You know how to blow on Skip's dick. Blow on this. Come on. Uh, ripping off the Mario Brothers movie. I was about to say that. <laughs> oh, no, you gotta get away from that effect. <laughs> I saw that blast. Jesse, you okay, sweetie? So, uh, where's Zolar? He dead, fam. That motherfucker <laughs> straight up died. He's as dead as your career. We let your son kill himself. No. I'm sorry, Greg Sestero. I just realized his outfit gives me a headache. He's wearing both a tropical shirt and winter clothing. Yeah, because he's always got to stay chill, you know, and to his roots. What have we, what have we learned as we come together and bond over this movie? Well, every skateboarder is really an alien. If Zolar doesn't doesn't come out and go, who wants a corn dog, bro? Then this movie's wasted. Could it be? He's not gone. Look, his his corpse is like Zola? splattered all over the front of the <laughs> snow. The DVD says everyone's favorite alien scene on the D a kids WB. That's not true. I'm sure there's other aliens that aired on kids WB. Didn't Lloyd and Spade? No, he was ABC. I'm just going to say it, but Mac and me did this better. Yeah. Wow. There has to be other aliens on kids WB. There, there's... Name one, oh. and Name uh, one. The, the aliens from the Men in Black cartoon. Superman. Oh, true. It's true. Superman the Animated Series. That's, that's very true. <laughs> Apparently, this this movie thinks it's better than Superman the Animated Series. I mean, it, it is. <laughs> Ow, that popcorn's hot. I'm burning my chest. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah the butter. <laughs> Oh, you bought you bought sweet popcorn. No, this is awful. I wish you yeah. did die popcorn. back there, Zolar. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, we're back to the top of the fourth wall movie. <laughs> Linkara. What? 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 Ah. Stop. His finger nose just poked my eye Don't out. Worry, master. I know right where to find that blue chump. Okay, director, tell me motivation. Silence. Let me know this character. He was like, just yell a lot and shit. What is my motivation? I have just the plan. Oh, oh, oh. What? He was the kid. He was the racist kid. He was the racist kid. Holy shit. Wait. 
Where was what a twist? Who is okay. hidden? Okay, first what of all. First of all, why wasn't that a post-credit -se sequence? <laughs> yeah. Well, this is pre-post-credit sequences. Why was he the racist kid? <laughs> Wait, was he the racist kid the whole time? Wait, did, did yeah, aliens apparently? invent racism? Is that what they're saying? <laughs> yeah, they invented racism and skateboarding. Whoa, that makes a lot of sense, I gotta say. <laughs> they go in hand in hand. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna say I sort of saw it coming. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Lamp operator Wolfgang suck. <laughs> or Timothy Hedgecock. Those are not those are not real names. I'm sorry. <laughs> those are porn star names. <laughs> those are those are why you watch the crowd. Oh <laughs> like Beverly Moncliffe, good one. <laughs> it's not a name. Damn. So what you guys think? Would you have watched this if this was a series on Kids WB? Absolutely. <laughs> James Woods? Security Captain James Woods? I can, I can see that. Maybe James Wood is an alien. Wait, maybe James Wood is the dad of Racist Kid. Pete Campbell and his so-called friends. Nice band name, bro. That's an accurate band name if they work together long enough. Why <laughs> TV? Yes. Why indeed? Movie Central. <laughs> That's my favorite review site. It's the participation of Canada, of course. The whole country? Of course, Canada gets a participation <laughs> ribbon. So Amar is a national treasure of Canada. Like he's well beloved. Shevik. How many fuck Shevik the Hedgehog? How many fucking corporations had their fingers in this pie? Yeah, he was in development for ten years. There's a lot of taxes that need to be dodged. There's not actually a Zolar page, but there is a page dedicated to Kids WB specials and yeah. uh, Zolar. Oh. And apparently there was a sweepstakes for a year's supply of buttered popcorn. Is that why they were eating popcorn that one scene? Yes. <laughs> no, they yeah. eat popcorn in two scenes. But yeah, but yeah thanks for thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, this was a nightmare. I don't know if I'm still alive. Yeah. What about you guys? We watched it. I I. There was a point in my life before watching this. There's a point in my life after watching yeah, this. Yeah, um, this is a major turning point for all of us, I think. And that major turning point is going to be me turning around in my chair and getting out of my room and going to get a drink because fuck me. Goodbye, every pony. Bye. 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 Unleashing upon your Saturday mornings this fall, only on Kids WB. I can't do a flip. We just didn't think you really fit in. <laughs>